Hey, welcome to Board Game Today. I'm Brett, and my hands is the Grey Knights Venerable Dreadnought from Joy Toy. Now, Joy Toy and Games Workshop are putting out a line of figures based on the Warhammer 40,000 line. It is a line of figures that covers everything. There's Marines, Chaos Space Marines, Orcs, uh, Imperial Guard, Deptus Custodius is coming out, a Sisters of Battle, uh, Tower coming out. It really is just in a line of figures. Uh, that are really, really impressive, and you'll be able to probably play a game of 40k with these any day now. Um, actually, you probably could already. So this is part of the Grey Knights line. Uh, we got Grey Knights coming, and a massive figure out of Dreadnought. Now, there is an Ultramarine version of this, and I think a couple other versions that will be coming out. So I think it's going to be really interesting kind of comparing them. But I thought we'd start with this, and go from there. Looks like this has been beat up a bit. So now I gotta go figure out where these parts go to. Oh! Alright, let's just do its stand test to just go with that. And it stands no problem. Alright, I'm gonna guess these go on the knees. That goes too. That's kind of intriguing. These popped off. I don't really think it matters which one it goes to. Yeah. 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 Well, I did them upside down, so let's actually correct them. And this, not quite sure what this goes to. Well, if we come across something that this makes sense, looks like whatever it came to probably broke off. Oh, yep, that's that's where it came from. Yeah, well, that's a shame. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is going here based off of, yeah, so I'm going this should have gone here. Yeah. Yep. So this bro this is broken off. So this is a, a busted, busted figure. Um, all right, well, we'll figure out what to do about that. Let's actually go and look at the figure itself, though. Movement, or standing, doesn't seem to have stand too, uh, have too many problems. Standing. Foot, doesn't really twist. Leg twists, no, no problem. Knees don't twist. Waist has some movement here and here. Uh, well, actually, there's some movement on the feet. Um, leg, or arms. Up and down, no problem. Up and down, no problem. Swings out. This doesn't really swing anywhere. Head does twist. There's some good movement on the head. Um, yeah, I mean, busted, so that kind of sucks. But overall, not a bad figure. Um, it's pretty cool. There's a lot to it. The painting's pretty nice. Does look like, you know, a Grey Knight figure. Uh, as far as extras, we've got... A different power fist instead of a closed. There's this version. Instead of like a fist, there's a claw. And then this pops up. Yeah, so this comes up. Let's move around. Um, overall, like, pretty cool. I mean, I, I think it's like a really, really cool toy. I, I, you know, we already did one, uh, we did the, uh, one other large piece already, so like, I don't know, kind of maybe not as impressed with this just because of that. And from looking at the other, um, other Dreadnought, the other Venerable Dreadnought, the Ultramarine that's out, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of difference between the two of them. So, I'm kind of sitting there being like, eh, like, I don't know if I would get both of them. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's kind of cool, like, there's a lot to it, and you definitely, 
you definitely can do um, some pretty cool stuff with these figures, and I think there's something really neat about, um, you know, these lines of figures as a whole. So I'm just kind of looking at the broken piece to see, can I fix it? I don't, I don't know if I can fix it or not. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a pretty neat, pretty neat figure. I mean, if you're a diehard Grey Knights fan, I could definitely see, like, recommending this and getting it and picking it up and adding it to a collection. Uh, we'll replace this and just show that off. Um, but, you know, I think as far as, like, compared to some of the other stuff that's been released, it, it's okay. Like, I'm not quite as, I think, impressed with this as I have been with other figures. Um... So yeah, I mean it's 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 cool, but you know, doesn't quite strike me as as other stuff has. Um, overall, not bad. Let's let's go with that. Some good detail, pretty neat, but not as amazing as I think I would hope it would be. Um, yeah, you can get yours. We've got a link underneath this video. This also comes with. It. I have no idea what the hell this is for. Uh, we've got links underneath the video where you can purchase yours. Uh, there'll be affiliate links most likely, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. Uh, I think this I think it's to cover up the whole. Uh, as uh, so, thank you for that. Uh, if you're into Warhammer Forty Thousand, check us out every single day at, at uh, boardgamestoday.com. Uh, you can also find stuff about board games, card games, trading card games, uh, role playing games, you know, whatever tabletop games, all at boardgamestoday.com. And follow us, of course, on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. Instagram and TikTok all at Board Game Today, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep rolling that dice. Yeah, it's a three. Get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching Board Game Today. We always appreciate your views and your support, but there are so many ways for you to support our site. Not only can you do right here on video, but you can go and check us out at boardgametoday.com where we have more news, reviews, interviews, everything you could ever want. But since you're here, if you could, you can always give us a like, subscribe, or share our videos or watch something else. As always, much appreciated and get your game on.